There's something magical that happens when you put a bunch of cables into the backpack. And I don't mean magical in a good way. The cables somehow always seem to get tangled. They create such a mess and an obstacle when I'm trying to look for something in my backpack. In this short video, I'm going to tell you how these cables solve these issues. Let's get into it. I've done a few videos on USB adapters from premium to budget adapters, but for me to do a video on a cable, it has to be pretty unique. Like this 4-in-1 cable I did a video on from Cool Gadget. My name is Patrick and this is Everyday Tech. Everyday Tech for Everyday People. Today we're taking a quick look at these two unique cables from MagTame. Now, full disclosure, MagTame did reach out to me and asked me if I would like to review these cables. They're not seeing these videos before they go up. All my opinions are my own. What makes these cables unique are the built-in magnets along the entire portion of the cables. These magnets allow you to organize the cables tangle-free and take up less space in your bag. Now the MagTame cables come in various types of connectors. It comes in USB-C, USB-A, and Lightning connectors with various combinations of these different types of connectors. Now along with the different types of connectors, they come in two different styles. First, you have the O-Mag cables and the C-Mag cables. The O-Mag cables are a little bit more rounded and they connect and stick to each other in a coil style. The C-Mag cables have a flatter design and connect and stick to each other in more of a roll-up style. Both are very easy to roll up or coil up and you can easily get them initially together and then, you know, little by little, compress them together. Both cables are very sturdy and durable with a double braided nylon design. Now between the two, I kind of prefer the OMAG cable design, but both are great. As far as specs are concerned, most of the cables they sell are primarily charging cables and not data cables. Now to be clear, they are able to transfer data, but majority are USB 2.0 with a transfer speed of 480 megabits a second. Mag Team does sell a USB 4 cable that can transfer up to 20 gigabits a second as well. But back to charging, the standard cables can handle up to 60 watts of power, you can buy a 240 watt version if you really need the juice. But remember, this is just the cable. You'll also need a power brick or an adapter that can output that much power as well. If I were to find any cons with these cables, it would be that they don't offer too many longer options. And most of their cables are one meter long, which is about 3.3 feet or 1.5 meters, which is about five feet. They do offer a two meter USB 4 cable, which is about 6.6 .6 feet but it's hard to justify the price for just the cable. I bought a 10 foot USB-C cable rated up to 240 watts not too long ago for under $10. Now this presents a problem if you're, let's say you're at a coffee shop and you're, the outlet is not too close to your computer. For me, this is not really a big issue because my MacBook Air has such great battery life and I usually just charge it at the end of the day. Or if I'm using my iPad, I can just use my power bank or battery bank to power it up and charge it, which is usually just right next to me. Overall, these cables are great, especially as I'm traveling a little bit more. I'm also starting to go to coffee shops more to get some work done. This is definitely one of those things where I didn't know I needed it, but now I can't imagine not having it. Thanks again to MagTame for sending these out to me. Now I'll have a links in the description below to all these different products I mentioned. If you purchase any of these cables through those links, it really helps out this channel. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, consider hitting that subscribe button. Until the next one, see ya.